Well, it was a beautiful day out there, and it's only going to get cooler from here as we continue to track the cool down as much as we track the warm up with this high pressure finally giving up. Now, we're about 20 degrees cooler than we were this time last week. Temperature change over the last 24 hours really showing us how we went down into those lower, if not those upper 60s. That's 10 degrees cooler than about earlier last week. Then we made a good run up near those 90s. We tried again way cooler than last week and we're still holding on to a lot of heat as we make our way into this evening we're going to drop down 10 more degrees into those 70s but we'll see if we don't make our way into those upper 60s 82 right now in san angelo everybody else already down into those 70s across the entire region we have all been cooling off pretty evenly all day as well as warming up still seeing a lot of that thunderstorm activity 79 in sterling city 78 down there in junction 82 in ballinger and 79 in ozona so you can sort of see how the humidity values have brought sort of the temperature up but allowed everybody to cool off at the same rate. Now when we're talking about the moisture content, we're tracking some early morning thunderstorm activity. You can see the atmosphere really recharging after this afternoon. Dew points are in those 60s across the entire region while the humidity values are anywhere from those 50s and those 60s pushing up into those 70s and those 80s but it's going to be hanging out more towards the central part of the Concho Valley as we make our way into Wednesday morning. Going to go ahead and show you the upper level pattern because you get a better idea of this cool down now. High pressure usually being shown by that diminishing circle right there, if not over the Rocky Mountains, sort of becomes more widespread. This is going to allow more moisture to make its way in from the Gulf. It's going to interact with these low pressure systems making their way across the northern part of the United States. That's going to pull a lot more of that moisture up into the Mississippi River Valley, sort of what we're seeing right now with the water vapor imagery. You can sort of see as the nighttime settles in that nighttime convection and those suppressive conditions after the afternoon, of course, we're tracking some dry air as it continues to lift and pull this circulation that everybody's been watching over East Texas. Now, when you look down near the Gulf, it's actually pretty powerful when we talk about an active Pacific hurricane season. That's where we're tracking a lot of these moisture or concentrations of yellow making their way in around Louisiana and East Texas. Now, the size of this dry air and this low pressure system and the stark delineation between Iowa, Minnesota, and that concentration of blue lets us know the weather's going to be pretty powerful and pretty severe, at least up towards the northeast. That's reflected in the severe weather outlook going into Tuesday where you can sort of see it widespread across the entire nation and then sort of seeing that circulation down near the part of East Texas that includes the Concho Valley. Down at the surface, they're still seeing a lot of those severe thunderstorm watches and warnings sort of all day for Michigan and Illinois. But we take you down when we sort of focus on this circulation. You can see how it's really just over the Concho Valley. Now, the cold front making its way in from the west is going to try to pull this moisture up. This is where we should be seeing thunderstorm activity. So you see how much trouble my model's having with it. As the morning rolls around we're going to see that sort of centralized thunderstorm activity along the Concho Valley then it sort of widespreads as lunchtime pushes in lingering more towards the west but it's going to be pretty quick in nature things sort of settle down then Thursday rolls around it's going to try but by Friday a good opportunity for some more thunderstorms make their way in from the northeast and then I run out of data so we'll see as the weekend rolls around so tonight down into those lower 70s still on the lookout for some of that thunderstorm activity activity, but we'll see if we don't get down into those upper 60s by tomorrow. On the lookout for some of that thunderstorm activity all day, so take your time because the temperatures are definitely going to be beautiful. Just make sure you're getting out there and enjoying it. Even some pleasant rain shower activity as we start to see things calm down for Thursday. That rain shower activity picks right back up, but so does that cooling trend. As we make our way into Labor Day weekend, we're all the way down into those lower 80s while those lows drop all the way down into those mid 60s. Stay tuned for more for the break. You're watching KCN News at 10.